Hello, everybody. Uh, last but last, last but not least, we have a very special guest very, visiting our campus today. Gari Fanat, American Heritage Foundation United, is a nonprofit organization born in 2005. Their mission is to serve the Gari Funa American, Caribbean American, and Central American communities in the greater Los Angeles and Long Beach area. Appreciation of one's own culture sets the stage for developing partnerships with people who come from culturally diverse backgrounds. Uh, let's welcome uh, Carol Norales, who will be briefly sharing about the Garifana's people's journey, as well as the significance of drumming and dance that they will perform today. Good afternoon, good evening. The Garifana people were exiled from their homeland, Urame, and arrived in Port Royal off the coast of Spanish Honduras on April 12, 1797. We have lived in exile for over 227 years in Honduras. Guatemala, Belize, Nicaragua, and the United States. There is a variety of artistic and cultural expression within Garifuna society, but most of the popular ones are the festive dances, town celebrations, and ceremonials. Festive dances are observed on special occasions celebrating Garifuna duo or Garifuna life. The Huga Huga is a dance that is done in a communal way. It is acknowledged as ancestors and is usually done in what we call it the Buyapa, which is the Garifuna spiritual temple. So that's gonna be the first dance that you see as we welcome our ancestors to this space. The second dance you will see is called a paranda. It is well known as the Garifuna traditional social gathering dance that is also popular among the Orinoco Basin. Shumba is a solo dance performed by women demonstrating the traditional chores done in typical Garifuna. These are some of the items that you're gonna see me demonstrate as part of the traditional stores chores that we do in our culture. Then you will see Wanaragua. Wanaragua is a war dance based on military tactic that the Garifuna warriors used during the two Carib wars with the European. In Belize, this is called Jacunu, and the dancers dress up in black and white uniforms and with a painted mask to represent the European soldiers. In Honduras and in Guatemala, keeping with oral history, the Wanagra dancers dressed in colorful women's clothing as a military tactic during the Second Carib War to trick the soldiers into thinking that all the men have fled and only left the women. Because during that time, the, the soldiers did not attack the village if it was just women. So they would think that the soldiers, that the women were just left in the village and the village was defenseless. Once the soldiers let, led their guards to the center, then the Garifuna warriors would come out of the butchers and just attack them. Again, that is known as one of the military tactics that we use during the Second Carib War. And the last but not least is punta. How many people have heard of punta music? <laughs> okay. So punta music is one of the most popular Garifuna um, genres of music that we have. Traditional punta is known as bandagi. And it's also a funeral dance, believe it or not. <laughs> so punta is danced during wakes and in other ceremonies having to do with the passing of someone. Punta is now one of the most popular well-known Garifuna social dances and is danced in various social gatherings, while both the male and female dances keep a respectable distance and never touching. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna have the most popular dance called Punta. So we're gonna have uh, Cheryl and Ty do a little performance, and then we want to invite the audience to join. Once you learn the moves, then you're welcome to join. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 